Medicare with us now. Welcome back to Morning Joe, Republican representative from Georgia and chairman of the Republican Study Committee, Congressman and Dr. Tom Price. Hey, Mika. And hi there. And Republican representative from Michigan and ranking member of the Ways and Means Committee, Congressman Dave Camp. Uh, appreciate Morning. you both for joining us. Uh, uh, Congressman Price, I'll start with you. Um, as a doctor, but also as, as an American, do, is there any reason why we should wait on health care reform? Because there are a lot of people who would say if we wait, we're going to have what we've had for decades, which is no action. Yeah, Mika, the status quo is unacceptable. There's no doubt about it. It's unacceptable to the patients of America and to the doctors of America. Uh, but the question is, are we going to do the right thing or the wrong thing? Um, and the, uh, the ad that was just up apparently was the cost of doing nothing. Well, the cost of doing what is currently on the table is to have a government takeover of health care so that there is a bureaucrat, truly an individual employed by the federal government, between you and your doctor. That's not what the American people want. There are positive solutions that we ought to be able to embrace in a bipartisan way here in Washington so that the American people get the highest quality of health care, the greatest access, and at a reasonable cost. Congressman Camp, it's Willie Geist here. Your colleague Hi, just Willie. talked about uh, making smart decisions, making changes. Uh, what are some of those? If President Obama's plan is not the way to go, I think we all agree we need to do something about health care. We have too many people in this country who don't have it. Briefly, what would you do? Well, first, let me just say Republicans can't block anything. They have a 50-vote margin in the House and a filibuster-proof majority in the Senate. Right. Look, what we think we ought to do is take the cost out of health care. And we, we have three ways that we would do that. One, we think there should be some lawsuit reform. We know the duplication and extra tests that get ordered when people go to the hospital because doctors are practicing defensive medicine. Uh, we think that uh, we should have you know, small businesses and individuals pool together to be able to get a lower-cost policy and, and, and bring costs down that way. And thirdly, we think there should be some fraud, uh, anti-fraud provisions in health care. Uh, when you look at this bill, it's scored, there's nothing there. For example, somebody shouldn't be able to set up a fraud operation in Florida and then move move to Texas and do the same thing all over again. We need to strengthen the inspector general in that regard. None of those things are in their bill. These are common sense ideas that we think the American people are saying they ought to be included in health care reform. Hey, Congressman Price, I have heard the President of the United States say to me through the television that if I like my health care plan under this proposal going forward, I keep my health care plan. If I like my doctor, I keep my doctor. And I think I just heard you say that this plan means government intervention and government bureaucrats decreeing, dictating to me what doctor to go to and what kind of health plan I'm going to have. Are you telling me that the president is kidding me? Uh, I'm telling you that the president says the right things oftentimes, but sometimes I can't, uh, my sense is that he hasn't read the bill that's on the, uh, in before the committees and on the floor of the House of Representatives, because the bill that's on the floor of the House, or will be on the floor of the House next week, has a stipulation that within five years, every single health plan, every single health insurance policy in this nation must look exactly the same. What that means to me and what, what, what that means to folks across this land who, who may have health insurance policies that don't look just like that, you won't be able to keep it. In fact, the Lewin Group uh, did a study that demonstrated clearly that more than 100 million Americans, 100 million Americans, will be moved forced What's the Lewin from group? private... What's the uh, Lewin Group? It's a study group. It's a nonpartisan private study group out there that looks at public policy issues. Who and funds what they them? Have, who funds them? I think they're, they're, they're a foundation. Uh, but but what, they have, what they've shown is that, that there are over 100 million Americans will be forced from private personal health insurance to the government-run program. Uh, that ought to give pause to everybody. And that's why we believe that we ought to sit down in a bipartisan way and come up with the positive solutions that are available to us. Congressman Camp, Carlos Watson here. Uh, I really appreciated you outlining those three points. It's about as clear as I've heard anyone on that side of the aisle do it. Do you think that Republicans, being responsible legislators, should call for Congress to work through the August recess on this pressing questions as more and more Americans, including in your home state, are laid off of work and lose their health insurance? Yeah, look, uh, we think that health care reform is important. It needs to be done. Uh, the sooner the better. But I think the American people are saying do it right. Uh, I'm we're certainly willing to stay and work on this as long as it takes. I, I don't think it would hurt necessarily for people to hear from their constituents uh, what they would like us to do. Uh, and, and so I, I'm not sure that being home for a time isn't all bad, but I'm here ready to work as, as much as the president would like us right. to. 
All right, Congressman Price and Congressman Camp. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us this morning.